Let's see where I'm. Where am I? Emmanuel is the first time I call out of Alabama. Sweet home, Alabama. Emmanuel, welcome to the show. Hey, Jesse. How you doing? Happy White History Month. Happy White History Month, Jesse. Thank you, buddy. Yes, sir. I, I was calling because I wanted to first say thank you. You're welcome. Um, thank you for for showing, for waking me up to understanding the order of God and man's purpose. Yes. You're welcome, um, man. Question. It's a yes, ma- sir, ma- yes, sir. And let me ask you this. Are you a Christian? Yes, sir. How old are you? 25. And so you, you've been a Christian. You're 25 years old. Have you ever heard the order of God before you heard me say it? Oh, yes, sir. I have. And why didn't you understand it then when, whenever you heard it prior to me? Well, I think it, was, it wasn't taught. Um, like, I guess... It wasn't taught like in church to you know the man. Well, actually, I had a I had a female pastor, so oh. it, it was just a you know. So it was like a lot of uh, I guess non order, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. In my life. What so made I, you, you know, sit under a female pastor? Well, well, it was first a, a male pastor, but he, he passed. So. You know, she had to take the lead. Why? And she did good. Uh, why? Because uh-huh. there wasn't no one else, I guess, to set that, to to take that position. That there, was male. There was not one other man man in the church that could have taken that position. It was now. It was, but as far as to take the actual lead position, that didn't happen. So, you know, my my father w- was actually. Uh, I was I was I was raised in church, so I went to church twenty four seven almost like felt like, <laughs> but but um, my father was the you know the musician, and I used to play the drums and things like that. So, but my question was, um, now that I understand and woke up woken up to it, and I'm a little nervous, so sorry. No problem, relax, it's right. fine. But um, now that my my father passed, he passed like three four years ago. Uh huh. So. You know, I don't have a father figure to go to anymore, but I go to God for that now. Yes. But, and I always have, but, you know, now it's really, because I really don't have the father figure. But my question is about my my brothers. I have three younger brothers, and I just want to know how do I set that example for them and still be married and, like, you know, just balance it all out, because I don't want them to go the wrong route, if that makes sense. How old are they? They're twins, twin ten year olds and a sixteen year old. Um, are you married? Yes, sir. And you have kids? I do have a daughter and a son on the way. A daughter and a son on the way? Oh, you have a daughter and now she's having a son. No, I have a daughter and I have, my wife is having a son. Oh, you already had a daughter by someone else? No, I'm married with her. We had our first uh, we had our first child. I got married at 19. Uh-huh. So we we had our first kid then, and then uh, we have a one now. Uh, he'll be here in September. Oh, I got you. Okay. Uh, and so you want to know how do you help your brothers, right, so they don't go astray. Uh, number right. one, you, ha- you have to be what you say, and it sounds like you're definitely becoming that. And so you by being it, you're going to naturally set an example, and you won't be able to help yourself. And so when they see you, they will see God in you, and that will guide them. You be honest with them. When you see that they're out of order, you speak up to them about it, show them how to overcome it if they accept it. But by being it and uh, and uh, living it, they're going to see through you the right way to go. Okay. Don't You can't make yourself be that way, but you'll be guided by God as to when to speak up to them, what to say, because you're gonna, you're now operating from His nature, and mm-hmm. and and uh, God is the light, and the light is within you, and you would see by that light what to do. So don't worry about it at all. Okay. And another question I had was about my home. Now that I understand the order uh-huh. and, and put and actually standing firm on it. I believe that I created damage from not following that order. I mean, I feel like I always have, but I was emotionally more 
I was making decisions emotionally, yeah. trying to, you know, please instead of sticking to facts of what God has told me to do. So how do I kind of, how do I, do I just got to work through that with my wife and my kids or my child? Now that you, work? now that you awaken, you have awakened, how is your wife treating, how is she acting? Well, <laughs> you know, it's, she see a, she see a difference, <laughs> but you know, but it's like, I don't think she believes it because like I, like I said, I, just, I would like before I was just loving and just trying to please, but you know, but now it's like, nah, I need to create order in my house and yeah. make sure things are going right that I am the head of her and things like that. And she, you know, and I'm not trying to do it by force. I'm just trying to do it by a natural way. If I yes. do something wrong, say something. Yes. You know? And, so, and, and is she, so is she fighting against you now that she's losing control over you? You know what? That's, 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 that's what it is. We, we, <laughs> we, <laughs> she have a, we will, we'll, you know, and I understand her and I understand that women have traps still laid for you. Yeah. So I just watch out for those. <laughs> and just not be so emotional and just deal with it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, a lot of a lot of it's just trying to work through that, but at the same time, standing firm. And I'll just, like, when she give me a trap, I'll just pray about it and say, thank you, Father, and, <laughs> and keep moving. That so, you're able to see it. And just like you can see the traps that she's laid for you or is laying for you, likewise, you're gonna, you, it's going to be the same way for your your brothers and sisters, I guess sisters, you'll be able to guide them when they, and if they don't accept it, fine. If they do, it'll be fine. But uh, so your question for me is how do you deal with the change that's happening in your family right now? Correct, correct. Uh, now that you become a son of God, uh, you should speak up, but don't resent. Because the one thing about most women, not all, but most, they never forget your weakness. They never forget what you did wrong. Even if you get up in the morning and you took a cloud to work, they would still judge you. And so your wife is going to be, you know, I don't, I don't know her, but normally women, when men are overcoming them, they don't have that control over you. They will have a hissy fit. They would yeah. do all kinds of things to try to make you mad. Uh, they'll try to seduce you. They'll bake you a cake or they'll cuss you out or they'll say, you don't love me. They're trying to draw you back in because you they're losing that control over you. Don't give in to that. Don't resent her for it, but don't give in to it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You be Can I have one more question? You be honest with her. You, and you When you see what she's doing, you call her out on it. You know what? I see what you're doing. You need to stop. I see you're trying to take control again over me. It's not going to happen. You need to call it out so she can know that you see see what's happening. And it's not her, but it's that spirit that made a home in her. And uh, that's why you need to call call it out so she can know you see it. And hopefully in about 50 years, she'll overcome. Now, what is anger? What is anger and what is just having a firm tongue? Like, just, like, like is yelling anger or what is, what no. is anger like? Anger is when you, re when you resent the person for what they have done to you or who they are when you are mad at them about it. But love is when you speak up, but you don't inwardly feel anything about it. You have, because you are all love now, which is God love, right? And God's love is not emotional. It's a light unto your feet. It's power. And it doesn't operate about how on feelings at all. It operates on reality. Uh, you see what's wrong, and you know it's wrong, and so when you have to raise your voice, if they said, if she says to you, "Oh, you're just angry. Look at you. You're raising your voice. Don't fall for that. That's a trick. Okay. You're you're knowing your heart. You're not angry because sometimes anger get the attention of the person, and you're gonna have days when you need to get the attention of your wife. And so when you raise your voice, you you know yourself that you're not angry. It's not out of hatred. It's out of love. And you're just raising your voice because you need to. Okay. It's, a, it's, a more, it's like a passionate type. It's uh, the voice. When you raise your voice, when you have perfect love and you have to raise your voice, you're doing it out of compassion because you're trying to get the person attention. 
because they're angry and they can't see. So you're trying to get their attention. Okay. It's like, you said, uh, it's like uh, let's say your wife is trying to manipulate you because she can't control you anymore. You're like, look, I see what you're doing. You need to calm down. You need to stop being angry. You know, you call it out like that, but you don't really feel but nothing but you're guided by love. You don't feel anything about it. And that's what it is. I, I promise you, when, when, when I do see stuff, I just be like, I'm just trying to make order in the house. But you said something earlier. Um, now that I'm a, I'm a child of God now, and how deep is that when you say that? Like, are you saying like he didn't see me or, or like, or I really wasn't with him? Um, when I say what now? When you say now that you're a child of God now. Right. Are you saying, how deep is that? Are you saying he, you, he, you, you wasn't really with him or, or, cause you said now, cause I always had a relationship with God. But now that I, you know, I've, you know, I know I'm a man. But, oh, I know so. what you're asking. God has always been with you. That's why he, he allowed you to hear me. He allowed you to see where I'm coming from. So he's drawing you back unto him, right? But because oh. you were in darkness, you didn't see that you were with, that he was with you. You didn't know so it. True. And just oh because, God. so what now? I said that's so true because I was in a dark place. Yeah. Very dark place. And just because you were going to church and just because you read the Bible and playing the drums, that didn't mean that you knew God and didn't mean that you were with him. He was with you. Now you're with him, and he's with you. Understood. Because a lot of people go to church and claim God. They sing the holy songs. They play the drums and the instruments. They uh, give out money, you know, pay the tithes and offerings and whatever. But they're not with God. They're with their mama, pretending to be with God. Understood. Well, I, I thank you, Jesse. I, I I came across this video. I don't even know how I came across it. God made it possible. It was amazing how it was amazing. Amazing. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, Jesse. I'm gonna what, keep watching, man. What was your first impression when you first saw my video? What was your very uh, first impression? When I first saw it, I was seeing how he was calling Trump the Great White Hope, <laughs> and I was like, whoa. <laughs> but. But I, I, you know, I, I'm not too into politics, and I understood your values. Not I, I value you for what you have in God. Yeah, I'm not too much into politics. Right, good. So, so I'm not like you know, I wasn't too like you know. Some most people would be like, "What man, turn him off." But I was more. What, what got me was the values and the and the things you put in God. That's what got me. So I, you know, I stuck in there. And I, and then now that now that you said a lot about Trump, I, I kind of get stuff like that now too. Yeah, you know. and, and the reason for that is because you are waking up now, and now you can see. And so when these people are trying to put the president down, the children of the lie, you see, like, uh, uh, that doesn't make sense. This is what he said. Yeah, That's yeah. true. You know, you start to see it for yourself. Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? It is. It's amazing. Uh, <laughs> are you black? Yes, sir, I'm black. I don't sound black. No, you sound, you sound somewhat <laughs> black. <laughs> you, <laughs> you sound somewhat black, but you sound southerner and somewhat white. You sound like gotcha. an educated black. I, I grew up, I grew up black, and I, I grew up in the black community, but went to a white school. Oh yeah, so you I sound kinda... like Joe L. If you lived in California. <laughs> <laughs> so listen. But, um, yes, sir. You say you were in a dark place at one time. Can you tell me what what was a dark place for you? A uh, dark place was uh, anxiety. It was anxiety and uh, fear. It was fear of, you know, just things I couldn't control. You know, I, I'm pursuing music and it's a passion, so I'm always trying to pursue that, but then... I'm pursuing God in it, so it's a little different. So, yeah, yeah. But, and, well, you know. That's amazing, like, man. Yeah. Well, now you're on your way. Don't, you are, do you already know not to believe 
Have you heard me say not to believe any thoughts at all about anything? Man, what? Yes. I was like, wow, that, you know, that right there alone, even when you said about um, about when you hear from God, God's going to give you revelation, not not words. Yes. That was deep. I was like, man, that makes so much sense in moving forward. So, you know, I stick, you know, those values are why you are amazing. <laughs> like that right there. Amazing. You say so you're 20, you say 26 or 25? 25, 25. That's amazing, man. Um, do the silent prayer. If you're not doing it, if you are doing it, stay with it. Speak up. Okay. And believe me, God will guide you. You haven't seen anything, man. It's going to, especially at 28. I woke up when I was 38. 25, Jesse, 25. I mean, 25. I woke up when I was 38. You're waking up very young, man. You're on, and your family, your wife and your kids may not, or, or kid for now may not realize when well, your kid dies because your your daughter can see what's driving the father. She loved the father, right? Uh, so right. your wife may not appreciate what she what is happening to you right now, but hopefully she will wake up to that because she's blessed to have a man that is guided by what is right and not by her. Is you think she'll you think she'll open up one day? Yeah, you no, know, we don't. In about fifty years. <laughs> I heard you say that too. I hope it ain't that long. I'm gonna be really praying for that, but no, <laughs> that's a long time. <laughs> but but the beauty is your kids will be fine because you are awake, and so you sta- you stand between the mother and the children so that she can't get to them and destroy them. Yeah, I understand that. Hey Jesse, can you have some uh, more urban folks on your uh, fallen state? Urban people. Yeah. What's an urban? Well, I don't, I'm just talking. I don't really, I just, the first thing that came to mind. But like people like, uh, maybe like Charlemagne, the God, that would be an amazing conversation. Oh, okay. Well, we'll work on that. I was just saying, you know, just put it up there. Whenever you have suggestions for the fallenstate.tv or for the radio show, send them to my producer, producer at jessaleepeterson.com. And definitely, we'll definitely look at it and get some of these folks on. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. I'm in, I'm in for making the world a better place, man. I can tell. I really can tell. Emmanuel, God bless you, man. I wish you well with your family. Stay on course. Don't judge yourself or anyone, and you'd never have to worry again. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. God bless you, buddy. You too. Great call. Thank you. Amazing. We are-